Hi, how's it going? My name is Sean Powers, and I'm back again for another musical exploration. Now, some people say, well, I don't have any instruments, because part of the, part of the thing about playing music is that people think that you have to have musical instruments to play music. But music is really everywhere and anywhere. And look at that, I got two spoons in my hand. So today we're going to learn about playing music just from your house. That's right, spoons is a very common instrument in the day to play spoons. Now, in order to play spoons, what do you got to have? You got to have spoons, preferably clean spoons. You don't want to have food on your spoons when you're playing because it will make not a good sound. But see, see how I hold these like that? I kind of have this little space and I kind of use this so they kind of like that and they're loose in my hands like that. And then I turn my other hand like a like a rigid thing like see how I have my hands kind of fingers kind of bent because if I went like this because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like it took me it's funny that I'm explaining it to you because it took me a long time to figure this one out I'm like I'm always thinking like how do they how do they play I first heard of, how do they play spoons I don't but one day I just sat down I just started playing around and I finally figured it out so you got it like that nice and loose in your hands so that these tap together. I mean, this hand is like this, kind of bent, and you go. And you gotta make sure that they're kind of loose in your hands. And then, so then you play on your leg, you go. Yeah, so that's what that is, playing spoons. Now, I use l large spoons. You can use small spoons. Of course, it's a different sound again. You get in between your fingers like that, you're kind of loose. Now, I'm not a professional spoon player, and I'm sure there's some people that are, that are amazing on these instruments, but you could become amazing too if you practice. Look at that, so you can loosen your hands. Yeah, so there's that sound. Yeah, so you got that sound. Men, spoons. Now, this is something that two jars, mason jars, and I ask your parents or whoever's in the house is that more responsible than you might be as a kid, ask if you can use these because it's glass and they're kind of dangerous if they were to drop, but they also make great instruments because if you tighten the cap just a little bit, and you strike this. And there's a little bit of water in there. And you can tip the water, make sure that the cap is tight on there. You can tip the water on there and go. Isn't that a funny sound? It's just a jar of water now. I'm gonna put these between my legs and make sure they don't touch each other because It'll change the sound if the glass touches each other. But you go. Yeah, so mason jars make great little drums. What else is, oh, look at these. I got some old, uh, some coconut water cans, right? And this is a, a oolong shot can, but they're made out of metal. They're not made out of aluminum, but they're made out of metal. So they have a certain sound and they have this little, little key thing on there, the, 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 the key that opens and closes it. Now you can hold that and you go. And then because they have these ridges on there, this is what I like to do. You go. And you have two different sounds. You have one going up, Kind of like the thumb pianos. You can put beads in there, shake it. You can sing into it. You can get a chopstick from your dress, from your drawer, for your silverware drawer. You can go.
There's a lot of things you can do with the, this can here. There's many things you can do with lots of things from your kitchen. This is a, a whisk for whisking eggs. And you could, uh, you could play something like this. Your, uh, your cheese grater, your vegetable grater. Yeah, you got that sound. There's many sounds you can play your little your little grabbers for your your tongs for your You can do that. You can grab a bunch of bamboo skewers that you would use for shish kebab. Get the maybe even tie a rubber band around it and you go. You can have a whole orchestra. And just play your measuring cups. This is kind of an annoying sound, but it also has a sweet sound too. You can put all these things together with your whole family can have a, a kitchen orchestra. Yeah, and all these things, they were found in my kitchen. And what's really important about the, all these instruments is that you found them right in your house and it's being playful. So it's really important. Again, this is Sean Powers saying, let's play music and be playful, yeah. And remember, instruments are everywhere. And I'm gonna show you some more stuff on the next segment about making instruments. All right, excellent, I'm glad you all came. And man, I really miss the libraries. I love libraries. Libraries are the truly wonderful place. So let's give thanks for the libraries and let's play music. Be playful. Yoo